Hey guys, this is Caleb. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, praying for you guys. I'm excited. We're going to talk about James chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. Um, I'm really excited. I can't wait. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, so in James 1, chap uh, chapter 1, verses 19 through 21, it says, So then, my beloved brethren, let every man... Be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. So, a few things jump out to me right away. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like talking. Um, I like it when I get to say what's on my mind. Um, but in James, they're talking about something different. They're saying, be quick to listen, slow to speak. Um, the reason why is because I don't know about you guys, but I'm a sinner. I have a sin nature and Nine times out of ten, my natural reaction is not going to be one of um, goodness. Um, a lot of times it's going to be out of a place of sin um, because I have the sin nature. But what James is saying, you need to slow down when you want to say something. And the reason why he says quick to listen is so I remember... Um, a while ago, I was meeting up with a friend, and he was going through a really hard time, and he started telling me what was going on, and I just wanted to interject and say something. Um, but the more I listened, the more I realized I wasn't getting the whole picture. Um, and also, it, it means that you have to rely on God. Um, and I mean, th but this is something even people who aren't Christians say it's a good thing because they know that a lot of times when you open your mouth um, you make a fool of yourself I mean that's also in the Bible um, it also says slow to wrath it doesn't say you don't have wrath there is examples of godly anger um, I mean Jesus was even angry but once again nine times out of ten we don't have a good reaction. Our anger usually isn't a place of um, godliness. Um, sometimes it is, but even when we have godly anger, we still need to be careful. Um, we need to be very purposeful when we have anger. We need to actually think through and come up with a plan how we're going to act on that anger. Because um, once again, we have sin nature. A lot of times we twist good things and turn it into something bad. Um, and another thing about listening, listening isn't hearing. Hearing is something that happens when sound waves hit your ear. Listening is paying attention to whoever's talking and actually receiving what they are saying. And that actually leads right into verse 21, where it says, lay aside all filthiness an overflow of wickedness. I mean, the Bible talks a lot about put off, put on. So we need to lay aside wickedness, but receive, so this is put on, receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. Receive with meekness. Meekness, I like to think of meekness as being able to be humble and submit. So being humble and receiving the implanted word. Guess what? We have it. Um, so I don't know what you guys are doing during this time. I'm going to challenge you guys. Read God's word, even if it's just a little bit a day. Sit down, read even a few verses. Guess what? You have a schedule of things to read. Go ahead. If you have never done it, just read those things. Um, and, but don't just read it to read it. Do it 
chew on it, humble yourselves, figure out what is God trying to tell me about himself. 